Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to solve the challenge 3 in Connect Data Cloud to Agent Force and Prompt Builder. So, the challenge name is Enhance Agent Force to Act on Data with Conversational Language. To complete this challenge, we need to launch the playground further. Click on this launch button. Then you will be redirected to this page. So, let's see the instructions first. From here, we need to complete the challenge. So, at first, we need to make some changes in the flows. For that, move to your playground. And here in this nine dots, search for flows. So, select this. And here, change this from recently viewed to all flows. And here, search for create check-in guest flow. So, here it is. Click on that. And click on this open flow button. The flow will be opened like this and here select this unified link one element and from this data source select it as data cloud object and here select the data space as default and for the object select it as unified link so search it unified link individual cc id and then in this filter records search for the field as individual id so here it is selected individual ID and for the value select it as contact record ID. So after that just click on the cross symbol at the top. Then we need to make some changes in this unified link too. So click on that and here select the data source as data cloud object and for the data space select it as default. And for the object, select it as Unified Link Individual CC ID. So select this Unified Link Individual CC ID. And for the field, select it as Unified Individual ID. And for the value, copy it from the instruction. So move to the instruction space. Just scroll down to the last. So here in this Unified Link to copy the value. And then paste it here. So after adding the value, we need to add one more condition. Further, click on this add condition. And here search for the field as data source object. And for the operator, select it as starts with. And copy the value from the instructions that is external. So copy the value and then paste it here. After that, here click on this cross symbol at the top. Then we need to make some changes in this reservation element. So click on that. And here select the data source as data cloud object. And for the data space select it as default. And for the object select it as external reservation. Then scroll down. And here for the field select it as contact id. And copy the value from the instructions. Copy this unified link to source record ID. And then paste it here. And just scroll down to the last. And here in this sort order, select it as descending. And for the sort to buy, select it as check-in date. After adding these values correctly, just click on the cross symbol at the top. Then we need to make some changes in this event summary. Click on that. And here copy the value from the instructions. So copy this whole value. So you need to copy the value correctly. Otherwise you will get some error. So copy the value correctly and then paste it here. After adding this value just click on the cross symbol at the top. So like this we changed all the necessary elements. After adding all correctly just click on the save button at the top. So the flow is saved successfully and here click on this activate button. So yeah, your automation was activated successfully. And then let's move to the next instruction that is create a check-in agent force action. So to start this challenge, move to your setup page. So here click on this back button. And click on this gear icon at the top. And then click on this setup button. After that in this quick find search for Einstein setup. 
select this Einstein setup and from this turn on this Einstein so here click on this toggle so we can see that Einstein is on after that we need to search for Einstein for sales so search it in the quick find Einstein for sales select this And here turn on this turn on sales email. After that just refresh your browser once. Then in this quick find search for agent for agents. Agent force agents. So select this agent force agents. So here click on this agent force toggle. And then again click on this toggle button here to the enable the agent force default agent. After that from this left side select it as agent force assets. Here move to this actions tab. And here click on this new agent action button. So select the reference action type as flow. And for the reference action, select it as create check-in guest event. After that, click next. And here, deselect this show loading text for this action. And from this contact record ID, select it as required input. And also for this event summary, select it as show in conversation. After that, just click on this finish button. So we can see that your changes were saved successfully message. And then from this left side select it as agent force agents. So here we can see that there is an agent name called Einstein Copilot. Click on that. Here click on this open in builder button. Here click on this deactivate. Click OK. If you have any errors here just click on this refresh button and then try then you won't get any errors so you will get the page like this after that here click on this new button and select it as add from asset library and from this search topic search for general CRM so select this general CRM and then click finish button So here we can see that the topic is added successfully. So click on that general CRM. Here click on this new version button. And then click save button. So again click on this general CRM. And move to this this topics action. And here click on this new button and then select it as add from asset library. So for the action search for create check-in guest. So select this create check-in guest event and then click finish button. So here we got this create check-in guest event topic as well. So after adding this topic just click on this activate button at the top. So we can see that your preview conditions were applied and your new session was started successfully. After that move to the instruction space, just scroll down to the last and we completed all up to this and this is for testing purpose so that's why I am not doing this. If you want you can do. So I am just scrolling to the last and here clicking on this verify step button. So yeah the assessment is completed and I got the 100 points.